Righto guys, I'm sure you can tell by the title of the video what's going on. Doing the Simpson Desert. And um, this is a trip that I've had um, had Mark to do for quite some time now and it's finally coming through. So um, I'm pretty bloody stoked. Uh, so I'm actually doing the trip with another bloke, another YouTuber. Um, I, I've met him sort of online, maybe about, I don't know, six months ago or something like that. We've been talking about it on and off, on and off for ages and um, we didn't actually know whether either of us were gonna be able to uh, pull the trigger on this trip. Um, but yeah, it's finally come to a head and we're actually gonna be able to do it, so I'm pretty bloody stoked about it. Um, so the guy I'm going with, his name's um, Paz. He has his own YouTube channel, which is Piss Take Productions. Um, he does a lot of um, DRZ related content as well. You've probably seen some of his videos specifically to do with like installs and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, if you haven't seen his stuff, head over and have a bit of a look at it and peruse through his, his bloody channel and stuff like that. I'll put the link in the description. Um, but yeah, you'll be able to follow his journey as well. He's, he's, he's the one that I'm, I'm traveling with. So um, we'll give you a bit of a rundown of what I'm actually taking. I'm not gonna go in, in crazy in depth with um, what I'm taking. If you wanna see something like that, um, let me know in the comments section. It's definitely something uh, that I can do for everyone. After the trip, I can do a bit of a wrap up video, show you guys exactly what I took um, in detail, what I used, what I didn't use, um, all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, for now, so we've just sort of got um, my tool roll here. Obviously it has, has my tools in there, um, has everything that I need to do, any sort of maintenance, any work on this bike, it has everything in there. This has all of my charging stuff. It has um, like a power bank, all of my cables, all of my GoPro batteries, everything that I need to charge, everything that I'm taking is in here. Um, next one across, this is my spares container or bag. Um, you know, spare filters, um, tubes, puncture repair kits. It has some, um, like it has my compressor in there as well. Um, just fit easier in there and sort of made sense to put it in there. Yeah, we have a few other bits and pieces in there as well. Actually got some bearings in there. Gonna, gonna bring a, a um, front and rear um, set of those along this time. Um, so yeah, that's that spares and everything, uh, along with um, some oil as well. Anyone that has a DRZ knows exactly how much they like to drink oil. So um, gonna bring some of, some of that along as well. Um, I may possibly drop the oil um, at uh, Udna Data or something like that if I actually get a chance to maybe at the roadhouse there if I get a chance to sort of drop the oil and, and chuck some fresh stuff in it I'll definitely do it but um, we'll sort of cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh, next one across is um, pretty much most of the food that I'm going to be taking um, just for the sort of desert portion of the trip so it'll sort of be from like Mount Dare to Birdsville. Um, there's definitely extra food in there than I need I kind of wanted to give myself a day either side intend on spending about three days in the desert, two nights. So um, uh, yeah, giving myself, giving myself a little bit of leeway just in case, God forbid, something goes pear shape, um, I'm, I'm prepared there. Um, in this one here, we've got um, my clothes and everything like that, all of my hygiene stuff, I've squeezed it all into one. Um, so in this one, I have um, like safety stuff, um, first aid kit, a few other bits and bobs. Um, this one over here, this is obviously um, my camel pack. Um, carry a few things in the um, front pocket of it, my wallet um, and other stuff. But um, this one, I actually have my, my um, little handheld UHF clipped onto the front of it there, the GME, um, just to communicate with Paz, communicate with other people in the desert. Um, so yeah, just hook it on the front there makes it super easy to use because it ends up sort of sitting next to your, next to your mouth anyway. Um, so I'll spin you around. All right, so on this side over here, we've got my sort of fuel system. Um, I'm going kind of half and half, so I'm gonna go um, 10 liters in the, the um, hard jerry there, um, and then I'm gonna go 11 liters in um, the giant loop uh, fuel bladder there. 
Um, the reason why I'm going half and half is I just didn't really want to rely solely on fuel bladders because um, I've had the Desert Fox one in the past. And to be honest, it, it started leaking after about two weeks and leaking bad, like it was not great. So um, I'd just rather sort of, um, yeah, spread spread them between the two just in case one of them gets pierced or something like that. I um, I, I really didn't want to um, bash it all in into bladders. So that's what we're going to do there. Um, top bag there has my sleeping bag, cooking stuff, a few other bits and pieces in there. Tent uh, has my sleeping pad rolled up in there so I can pretty much um, just pull up, flick my tent out, um, let the air go into the sleeping pad and just, you know, bang some, some tent pegs in and it's really easy to set up. Uh, over the back there, we've got the 10 litre Sea to Summit water bladder. Um, I'm gonna take more water than that, but that's gonna be the bulk of um, my water through the desert. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll probably try and sneak some, um, a couple of water bottles, a couple of litre, 1.5 litre water bottles on top of the panniers either side sort of brings it up to about 13 litres um, and then I'll have uh, a two litres in the in the um, the hydration pack there as well. So um, yeah, that's pretty much pretty much everything that I'll be taking. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chuck everything on the bike. Um, so I'll give you a little bit of an idea of um, how everything's sitting on there and what, what it's going to look like um, just for the, the, the travels throughout the two weeks. So Righto, so this is pretty much it. This is the way I'm going to try and carry it um, throughout the, the duration of the trip. Squeezed everything into the panniers. Got the top bag on top of the jerry. Um, I've got a towel underneath that so I don't sort of, um, don't rip into the, the jerry as it sort of goes along dirt roads and stuff like that. Um, then obviously we've got the um, tent that's just running through there. Um, yeah, everything's pretty much squeezed in there. Um, I did forget to mention um, my PLB will pretty much always either be in that tank bag or it'll be on on the, um, the camel pack that I'll be taking, but that's pretty much it. That's gonna basically be <laughs> what I'm living on for the next two weeks. So the travel plans, um, I'm actually not gonna end up doing the sort of typical um, route which is like um, I think most people obviously I'm leaving from the Gold Coast most people from leaving from the Gold Coast or Brisbane I think they generally head out um, through like St George Way, Kanamala um, and sort of stay at Inaminka the second or third night or whatever they head out that way um, and then go down Strezlecki after that um, because I'm meeting up with Paz he's coming from um, New South Wales we're gonna meet at Burke. First night, I'm gonna stay at Ninnagulli. Um, second night, I'm gonna catch up with uh, Paz at Burke. Um, we're gonna meet there and then we're gonna sort of um, continue the journey through to um, Tibabara and Cameron's Corner and stuff like that. Um, and and then, um, you know, head through the rest of it, Arkarula and um, William Creek and everything like that. So uh, yeah, by the time you guys end up actually watching this video, I'll have already been gone on the road for maybe a day or so. Um, but yeah, if you have any tips, um, anything that I should know, anything that you could think of that um, you, you may not have seen in this video as brief as it, it sort of has been, please let me know in the comments or um, find me on Instagram um, and, and DM me and, and let me know, say, hey, you need to do this or hey, make sure you get water at blah. Uh, every little bit of advice helps on these trips. Um, because at the end of the day, I'm still learning. I'm still learning um, how to get better at adventure riding, how to get better at um, traveling on my bike as well. So um, yeah, all of all of the little tips that you guys give me, uh, it really goes a long way and it sort of helps me learn to be, um, you know, better at what I'm trying to do. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching. Probably not gonna see you for a few weeks, um, but when you do see me next, I'm gonna be somewhere in the outback probably in the Simpson Desert, so stay tuned.